The Sworn and Secret Grimoire by the Master Arbatel, translated for our age by Count Abaca, is actually a book by Jake Stratton Kent, no other, uh, um, although his name doesn't actually appear anywhere on this cover here. Uh, Jake Stratton Kent has been teasing for some years now that uh, he's been working on a grimoire for beginners or an introduction to grimoires. And uh, yeah, this kind of seems to be it. I, I, I may be wrong, you know, he may have something else in mind, but, but this definitely fits that description. It is just the loveliest thing. And <laughs> uh, let me first of all give you a, a an overview of the construction of the book itself. I know that many of you watch my channel for that exactly. And you can see that it's uh, Smithsone and uh, so with a really nice blue buckram cover with a stamp uh, in gold and silver. It's just a very, very nice design there on the front. Very, very nice. Um, this started out, apparently, according to uh, uh, Jake's uh, introduction here, started out as uh, with the intention of being a, 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 um, um, a, a, a digging up of, uh, of the Book of Turiel. Um, uh, but uh, he encountered all kinds of problems with uh, making it workable. Uh, apparently the book itself isn't workable, but he he realized that by, uh, I mean, Jake Stratton Kent, Kent there, there aren't many people in the world right now. Uh, there, there may be a handful, but, uh, but not many more who are, who are more, um, who are better versed in uh, uh, grimoire law and uh, uh, let's say grim grimoire knowledge and science, right? Um, and so he was able to make his own forgery um, <laughs> based on these earlier forgeries by Hockley. Uh, and, uh, and the result is this wonderful book which incorporates um, uh, much of the Arbatel, uh, which, is, which works very well for, for me. I, I, uh, I've reviewed the Arbatel, uh, Joseph Peterson's version of the Arbatel. You can see some of those uh, Olympian sigils right there. Um, and he also incorporates a lot of the Solomonic grimoires here, specifically the, uh, uh, the, um, uh, the Greater Key of Solomon with uh, uh, great attention to the hours of the day, the, the, the planetary hours of the day and so on and so forth. Uh, it's uh, it's it's an absolute delight for anyone who knows at least a bit about grimoires, uh, because you can spot all the references and and all the um, uh, the the, uh, the the influences and the uh, the inspirations and so on, uh, and you can say, oh, I recognise that uh, conjuration and uh, that that particular form of. of prayer or that evocation and so on. Uh, so it's really, really nice. And if you are an absolute beginner, I'd say that this works perfectly because grimoires are really supposed to be a, a, a puzzle. Uh, I, I don't know if they're supposed to be, but they are. <laughs> they are a puzzle. And this is a delightful puzzle to solve um, in terms of, uh, you know, when, when there's something that's not quite clear, it's going to be very easy for the beginner practitioner to research and find a solution to whatever the, the, um, the, the, the su surprising point might be. Um, there's, uh, and there are these two appendices, these really, really nice appendices in the back um, that uh, the first appendix goes over the, the parts of uh, uh, the uh, uh, evocation of spirits, right? The, the six-fold process of evocation. So it uh, uh, explores the, uh, the process of Dr. Skinner, which um, uh, actually uh, Alexander F is currently um, uh, doing a series on for his patrons. Um, and uh, uh, also, uh, let me see, um, uh, uh, where, where was I up to? Yes, so um, uh, 
He also goes into Alyssa Crowley's version and uh, yeah, invites the reader to make up his or her own mind about uh, similarities and, um, and, and usefulness of that, which is really, really cool. And then in the second part, we have something like um, a little insight into Jake Stratton Kent's uh, early involvement with magic uh, uh, and it reads a little bit like a, a very short autobiography, um, uh, which is worth the entry point price uh, in itself, in my opinion. It is uh, really, really nice uh, getting a, a, a um, some kind of idea of why he is so ferociously um, uh, uh, against certain aspects of um, uh, of magic and uh, and so so fervently for others. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, so yeah, as I say, that, that's, a, that's a really, really nice gift all in all at the end from him to us. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a fully workable grimoire. Uh, I think that it's a, a, a beautiful, um, a, a beautiful a homage to, uh, to traditional grimoires and really nicely captures, for me in any case, uh, what everything that I love about grimoires uh, while leaving a lot of the stuff that I don't like so much of grimoires out altogether. Uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Uh, yeah, Hadian Press are putting out some really, really high quality material uh, at the moment um, and, uh, and they're quite affordable. It's uh, a bit of a shame that, uh, well, due to uh, circumstances, right, it's difficult for them now to ship to Europe. However, uh, on their website, there is actually a link to their eBay store, where if you're prepared to spend quite a lot of money on shipping and the fees uh, the, um, the, 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 what do you call them, the, the taxes and um, uh, customs fees, um, uh, yeah, which are not cheap, uh, but nevertheless, it makes it possible for people in Europe to, uh, to pick these books up if they actually wish to. Uh, of course, this is also available in a paperback form. Um, I'm not 100% sure if there is any kind of uh, deluxe version of this. Um, there sometimes are, but they usually sell out very, very fast. If there were any at any point, they're certainly sold out by now. At the time of recording this, I believe there are still a few of these hardcover, standard hardcover versions uh, still available on the website. And uh, yeah, um, uh, that's, uh, I, I, I really, really like this. I think that this is a, a, a lovely uh, offering by Jake. Uh, so thank you very much for, uh, for putting this out into the world uh, for us there, Jake. Uh, uh, that's, that's really, really a, a beautiful bit of work. Thank you very much everyone for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. And um, uh, yeah, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And don't forget to click that little bell button uh, so that you actually get to see my videos pop up on your uh, home page <laughs> uh, rather than having to go into your subscribe page, which uh, very few people actually do, right? Uh, but yeah, if you'd like to see my videos on a regular basis, then that, that bell button's kind of, kind of important. Thank you very much for watching as always, and uh, take care. See you very soon with another video. Bye-bye.